sounds good. Nice. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Nick here. Welcome back to Groovy Thursdays. We made it all the way to groove number nine. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me here today. This is a cool one today. It's from the Spock's Beard record. Spock's Beard, which is our ninth, was our ninth studio record. And the song is called Skeletons at the Feast, an aggressive, super fun song to play drums on. And it comes from the crazy mind of Rio Okamoto. Rio is rock and roll. If you ever followed Spock's Beard, you know that Rio is rock and roll. I, I really think he is. And uh, he wrote this tune. <laughs> and uh, again, super fun to play. And I just picked out basically the first groove of the song. Once the song starts, what I'm playing right there is the groove that I picked out for groove number nine this week. And it's the same over, it's just one bar long, repeated. I wrote it out in four bars in the transcription. So at the end of the four bars, you can put in whatever fill you like. So let's get into the groove right now. Skeletons at the Feast. Here we go. Since this groove is only a bar long, this is not gonna be a very long video. We'll get through this really quickly here. The groove is an 11.8 at 356 BPM, but the 356 means eighth notes. That's why the number is so high. So don't let that high number scare you. It is fast, but the way I like to count things like this when they're at a fast tempo in an odd time is I actually cut that number in half and I'll count the quarter notes with a fast three or whatever it is on the end. So 356 divided by two is 178. And I would go like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know, you can count that way if you want. If you want to rattle off those numbers that quickly and it works for you, great. But in my mind, in my body, I feel it a lot easier when I count the the bigger numbers and then add on the chunks of the faster numbers wherever they need to go. So in terms of this 11.8, I put that little fast chunk of three at the end because it was determined by the music that was written, by Rio's music, the bass line, the, the guitar part, the, the synth line that's going on, the organ part that he's playing. So depending on what's going on in the rhythm of the music, you can break up how you count the 11 however you want. It could be you know two quarter notes, then a fast chunk, then the other two quarter notes, or however it works. But for this 11, the fast little chunk is at the end. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, just like that. Another easy way to feel this groove is to count that little fast chunk that I'm putting at the end. Instead of straight, count it as a really fast sextuplet or two fast little triplets. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So one, two, three, four. Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, four. Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba. Or one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, uh. Two, three, four. Uh, uh, uh. Whenever I try and show somebody an odd time groove such as this one, I really try and focus in on the feel aspect of it all as much as the counting of all the notes. If you can really feel those little chunks and those kind of odd groupings in time, of course, you can really internalize the groove and then make the pocket, even in an odd time, that much more solid. So for me, I feel this particular groove in a couple of ways. One's like this. Boom, ba, boom, ba, uh, uh, boom, da, boom, da, uh, 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 da, boom, da, uh, 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 like that. The other way I feel this groove is to have that chunk at the end, instead of feeling in that fast sextuplet or the triplets, is to have it feel completely straight. So one, two, three, four, thicka, 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 one, two, three, four, thicka, 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 one, two, three, four, thicka, 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 da. And if you combine the two and kind of morph it in and out as you play the tune, you can really go back and forth and have a lot of fun with the groove. Okay, now let's quickly break down this one bar groove. I didn't put a sticking on this particular transcription because it's just your normal hi-hat hand, your snare hand, and your foot. So if you're left-handed or open-handed, however you do that will work. The first half of this groove is really just a simple rock beat. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. Just at this fast tempo, and those are all eighth notes. So that makes up the first seven eighth notes. We still have four to go, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Starting at beat eight, they turn into 16th notes and they just go back and forth between the hands very simply. Beats eight and nine are just single strokes back and forth. For me, it's right, left, right, left, hat, snare, hat, snare, and then beats 10 and 11 just go to double strokes. So beat 10 is right, right, and beat 11 is left, left, hat, hat, snare, snare. <laughs> so eight, nine, 10, 11 are right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, hat, snare, hat, snare, hat, hat, snare, snare. Single strokes and double strokes. 
This is the reason why we practice our basic rudiments, singles, doubles, paradiddles, what have you, so we can get them solid up to a high rate of speed and put them in fast grooves like this. Now, how I played this groove when we played live and on the record is that I kept the hi-hat parts most of the time nice and tight and crisp, as crisp as I could. And then I opened up the hi-hat on beat one a lot of the time too, so I, you could really feel that one every time it came around. It's always good to feel the one in an odd time groove. And while the basic pattern was kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, boom, 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 da, do, do, ga, I gave myself a little bit of freedom to morph the kick drum pattern every once in a while. Do, do, ga, do, do, ga, do, 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 ga, do, do, ga, do, 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 ga, do, do, ga, do, ga, do, ga, do, ga, do, that kind of thing. Once you get the basic pattern in, I mean, just take it wherever you want. I always encourage you guys on Groovy Thursdays to take the grooves I'm showing you and turn them into your own thing. I really encourage that. And how I did the groove on today's video is I played three bars, and then on the last bar, I played the first sort of basic rock beat, doom, ga, doom, doom, ga, and then filled the rest of the bar. So those last three eighth notes, put in whatever kind of fill you want. You know, <laughs> you can go all night long playing all kinds of crazy fills in just those three eighth notes. It's super fun. And the last thing I'll say about this groove, if you're having a hard time feeling it, getting it up to this tempo and getting it in, in the pocket, is to, of course, slow it down first. Do, ga, do, do, ga, do, 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 ga. It's okay to play it that slow. Do, ga, do, go, do, ga, do, ga, do, do, ga, shlick, ga, 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 You know, and slowly bring it up to tempo. There's, this is a judgment-free zone here. It doesn't matter how slow you have to play the groove to make it feel good. And, you know, and if it takes time to get up to that tempo, it takes time. It's no big deal. We're all family here. It doesn't matter if you ever get to this tempo. As long as you have fun playing this groove and you learn something and you're making music. That's the most important part. All right, everybody. We made it through groove number nine, Skeletons at the Feast, from the Spock's Beard record, Spock's Beard. I'm also wearing my New Jersey Prague House sweatshirt in, in tribute to great people supporting progressive music. I love everybody at the New Jersey Prog House. They supported Spock's Beard back in the day, me and progressive music of all kinds for so many years. A great group of people at the New Jersey Prog House. So cheers to all of you out there. And I encourage you to record yourself and film yourself playing this groove, post it up, let's see what you do with it, and you know, morph it, turn it into whatever you want. I'd love to hear it. Please send me more suggestions, share this video with all your friends, subscribe to my channel, give me the likes, all of those kinds of internet lovely things, and we'll see you next week, everybody. Groove number 10 at Groovy Thursdays. Cheers.